Hi everyone. I'm going to showcase how to create a hexa map view in TAM2. And uh, we can also create a dashboard uh, based on some information. I have a data for United States house prices information from 2000, to 2010 somewhere. So uh, let me showcase that. So for now to create a geospatial, I mean the hexa map, basically there are other options, but uh, we can make use of the existing spatial file. So let me showcase that. So you can also get this particular file from here. So let me showcase this link. So here you can find uh, the hex map special file. So instead of going for other options, right? Basically, you can download the uh, data and you can connect to this particular data set. Okay. So let me connect. So when you connect, so basically you can uh, see state name and uh, the state abbreviation, right? The, like the state code, correct? And geometry. So it's a polygon. So the shape is polygon shape. So and uh, as I said, I'm going to connect to one of the data, which. Uh, so let me showcase that. So even you can connect uh, separately and uh, we can do cross database join later part of the time. So now, as I said, we can create a geo, uh, I mean, the hexagonal view in Tableau. So basically you can make use of this geometry and when you double click automatically, this will create a the hexagonal map and just right click here. And you can see the background somewhere around in Africa, right? So it's showing up, but our intention is to showcase this map view. You can make use of background layers and uh, we can use uh, the transparency, okay? To display the proper text of map here. And uh, let's connect. As I said, there is a uh, information uh, on United States housing. So let's go to data source, have that specific information here, US state statistics. So, and clearly you have uh, this state year and quarter and there's an average price and median price right so this is probably i think the across us level the total uh, average price i mean the average price across this particular year quarter i mean 2000 q1 and this is for q2 this is the average price so probably uh, even we can uh, make use of the totals and for now this is not required anyhow uh, what i'm going to do is so let me close this connection and uh, i mean let me close this connection and clearly you can see that there is a state here. It shows state, uh, the naming convention, but uh, it, it shows the state uh, code. So when you scroll down, it clearly shows the state code, okay? And uh, when, when it comes to like the, whatever the hex uh, data, right? We have the, we have state name and the state abbreviation. So whenever you're going to use, I mean, the instead of blending, I'm going to use cross database join. Whenever you're going to use uh, this particular information, I mean, you have to go with the join with state abbreviation. So that's important. So let me close this connection and now go to data source. So let me add Microsoft Excel and uh, let's connect to your state housing data, right? So here is the file. So let's uh, double click instead of using the direct relationship option. So I'm going to use a join. So let me drag and drop uh, this file, okay? So as I said, you have the state, right? And in the, here we have a state, state abbreviation. So as I said, we have to join with state and uh, clearly you might miss the US information as a, instead of uh, going, I mean, you can go with the full outer join to get the US data. But for now, I don't require only US because I need, I can concentrate only on the state names, right? So, so that we can aggregate anyhow. So this is one thing, I mean, the data preparation is important. So if you go back to here, so I think it's, it's an image probably I can use a uh, left join to get all the states uh, from this particular data, right? So uh, probably that's the best way. So now when you go back to, uh, yeah, we can do this. When you go back to this data, right? You have year and quarter. So this clearly shows, let me exclude this null value also. Let me exclude this null <coughs> for now. So clearly you have a uh, year and quarter, but you don't have a specific year wise information or you don't have any date dimension, right? So let's create, uh, if you want to do some analysis across year level. So let's let's do this. This is a string, right? And uh, let me create a calculated field. And to get year from this particular field, how to use left of year quarter from our first four characters, right? So that is here. And when you double click, you can clearly see there's a field called that and you are getting proper year. And let's create another calculator field. There are other options. I mean, you can use transform, split and other options, but you don't have enough space, right? 
so and yeah probably you can use a separated queue or some other characters with that alone but yeah i think this is the best way so this is the string right so so you can use a write function and you have year and quarter comma two last two this is like a quarter perfect so i got a uh, year and quarter separately so that i can do analysis across a specific year right so this is just a data preparation guys so now let's go back and as i said i am going to create a this hexamap map again so let's double click on the geometry and you just right click again and go to background layers make use of transparency or you can uncover all this right in the background map layers right you can uncover base land cover and scroll down you can uncover everything so it will take time so this is, this is across uh, us states information and you can just drag and drop uh, if you want to apply color based on the state and drop uh, the same uh, the abbreviation into sorry into label so that you can display the short names right and let me do one thing like let me create a state field and uh, or uh, i want a state name okay you already have a state here state and so i'm going with the average price and i want to see top 10 average price okay so we can have a uh, i mean we can do average this is some right we can do average because we have all the 10 years of data so we can go with an average and um, you can just drag and drop a uh, state here and go to top by field and i can display top 10 right so just click okay so this is the average housing prices perfect so so let me go with this and if i want to create a bar graph let me use a bar graph and sort it out perfect this is the top 10 housing prices across each state and let me showcase the label and drag and drop state into color to differentiate uh, different colors okay now i have a state geo uh, i mean geo hexa map and um, i have a top 10 states and uh, let me create uh, another visualization. Let's say you have this average price and median price, right? So now I want to do analysis across a particular state, right? So let's say, yeah, we don't have real time data, but uh, you can get this information from this particular website, Federal Housing Finance Agency. So you can get the information and you can get the same data, whatever I'm using, right? So, so uh, basically, so I'm going to create a yearly, right? So let's exclude this for now. So we have a uh, till 2000 to 2010 data and we have average price as i say we will go with the average and uh, let's do this actually so i'm going to uh, create a line graph so first let's create a bar graph then so i'll, I'll create a line graph converting to line uh, let's do this and uh, we can just drag and drop the uh, same average into size and uh, average into color and if you look into this the, there is a markers right option you can just click on color and use markers and uh, in the labels there is an option called as if you want to showcase only the minimum and maximum you can make use of this specific option so that you can get to know what exactly the minimum value and what exactly the maximum value perfect and if i want to add uh, for an example let me add a reference line i'll go with an average and uh, value let me do some formatting with some specific information. So I'm, I'm going to come the average price okay, for now. So show sure, that let's remove this. This is specific year wise. Okay. So if you want to drag and drop quarter into color, even this will split into quarter. But for now, let's don't make this chart clumsy. It calls a specific year, right? So now let's go back to dashboard and let's drag and drop the I mean just double click on the map view and uh, i want to display the this one yearly price anyhow this is showing up overall but whenever you're going to click on a specific so i mean this is sheet 3 and this is uh, sheet 5 i will probably need to remember so uh, let me show the title okay so so that way i'm going to use actions so and uh, let's drop this top uh, top 10 so these are the top 10 states we are displaying here okay so whenever we are going to perform action we don't want to target this specific map but clearly it shows uh, this is the minimum value right and this is the maximum value this is overall like all the 10 years and uh, clearly you can see uh yeah i think in 2007 overall 
uh, till 2010, 2007 is the highest. I mean, in 2007, the maximum value you got for the specific housing. I mean, that's an average anyhow. Anyhow, in 2010, we don't have a Q3 and Q4, so, okay. So now, uh, let's say if, if I'm going to click on a specific state, it has to showcase what is the minimum value and what is the maximum housing price and what is the average value, right? This makes sense. So now let's uh, go to dashboard, actions. So for now, we need to target from sheet three to sheet five, okay? So create an action, filter action. So my source is see sheet three and my target is sheet five. Let's use select, show all values. So I'm unable to click OK here because of the screen. So let me use tab. So I created an action here, okay? Just click OK. So let me close this all the titles so that the dashboard looks pretty good. So I can go to presentation mode. And now you can clearly see whenever I'm going to click on text ads. So this clearly shows what is the minimum value. And here it is the maximum value across uh, in the span of 10 years. And this is the average housing price. So let's say when you click on Florida, so this is the minimum value and this is the maximum and this is the average. So here it is 310K. So when you click on California, so the average is 433K, right? I mean, maximum you can see close to 600. So based on a state, right? Whenever you're going to click on a specific state, right? So this will give you, uh, in New Jersey, you can see close to 400K and city configured it, see 400. Average is 332, so. So, I mean, it, it depends, but this is one of the, Dash quick display those information by making use of some trend line information in there. And anyhow, we are displaying the top 10 states so that might also help. So, California is in second. And yeah, probably there might be less information, but you can see the average of how is like uh, close to 520k, right? So, these are the top 10 states. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm able to create uh, this geospace, I mean, the hexa map by making use of the existing uh, file. As I said, you can download from this particular website. So, hope you understand. And uh, yeah. Thanks for watching and please do subscribe for uh, more videos. Thank you.